that's another reason why I helped the Super Hardy Chicks as well, because you can prove that Jim Riley, Joe Zillick, Harry Race, Bernard LaChance, DJ Dave, Perlita Quinwan, Elton Anderson, and Don Wiley, 1961 Oyster Cracker Man, the All-American Adela, GPS Passport, Robo Rapist Knight, Red Randy, Red Gordon, and Ellery, Jim Hall, the Bill Duvall, and some of those guys, they made a cage basically for the Kennedys, Paris Hilton, you know, they, they, they basically have to live the life they do because that's the way those guys are. And the Bowmans and whoever else, oh, Marilyn Monroe. So all the, je they were jealous. So that's what that guy sits there and, and hovers for. Because he tries, he basically controls her. She has no choice. So I just tell her, I mean, it's not her fault. But that's what they did. They went after Rothschilds and all that because they're anti-Jew and Russian. And that's what that guy runs around and does. He gets off on it. That's why they did what they did to those life forms and those people, because they know they can control it. And then they run a military religious lesson and then harass the cops and all. That guy does the same shit all the time. They, as soon as they found out about some of this, that stuff and what, how some of those guys could do it, they came running and fucked it all up. And just so the Negro rights and they put all that shit. So they, they, they're all coming up with some bullshit carny story. The Negroes have always lied. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Hugh Hefner is one of them. But the big jealousy, I can tell you this, is Madonna. Always has been. Oh yeah, Ro oh yeah, Robo Knight, they gave you the rabbit too for your boys. So the more and more, like I told them last time, the more and more that they keep screwing with Vincent's down there in those churches, those cults, as he sits there and running down there with Joe and did what they did, the, and the more they lie about it, the dumber they look. He went around and set up his own shit in competition with my dad, and it flopped. Why? Because they wanted to sit there and fight over the same girls who they're at home. And it was basically over my, my Aunt Wendy, but she, she gave you guys what you deserve. She, they're not the only ones that knew we didn't have to live this way. <laughs> I think the terrorist attack on what the guy did was the last straw. I mean, Jesus Christ, he got to live. And he sits there all proud and said, Ferrari now, man. Oh, well. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm betting you, man, they're overseas just clapping, enjoying every day that they get to move ten times further away from you people and your fucking bullshit, Harry. Joe Bernard. <laughs> Indy, they don't all hick all cowboy country and western that's all those guys do we did it again so guess what joe you and perlita and them you did it but you're fucking sick and your squeege is you're breading the more you guys touch you guys didn't fix shit <laughs> you said it in based upon a prison debt, joe and immediately started abusing and, and ridiculing family members in the first two McCormick's Big Big Bride. I know what it's all about. You want to be a polygamist, Joe, and a pedophile? Go ahead, Cowboy Country and Western. They're putting it all in for you and Elton and your team. You got steak because you guys don't know anything about the ghetto. And the first thing you guys did was fucking attack their stuff and they left. You guys don't know shit. So they let your spoiled man, your actor, have it, Karen. But what he said in, you guys have all his genetics all his sickness, all of it. And all he does is sit there and blame Greg or Paul and burned in their joke and shit. So they let you guys have it and you'll be fucked up forever standing in Perlita and what you guys did. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee it, Joe. So you, you keep going with your white superiority flop back and forth and the hand me down and lie. But every day the, the Ellery and the Negroes lie about how it happened, the dumber and dumber you guys are gonna fucking 